We are here at the Waldorf Astoria in Park City at the base of Canyons Village. We can't wait to tell you what we loved about this resort and everything you need to know before you book. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Max. I'm Marin. And we're Voyager Group. We post weekly videos with hotel reviews, travel tips, and videos from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So if you don't already, consider subscribing. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And be sure to stay to the end of the review where we'll cover our COVID safety rating, which is our newest addition to our rating system. It does not count towards the overall scores at the hotel, but we will tell you everything you need to know about their safety precautions here. Yeah, you definitely don't want to miss anything, so make sure you stay to the end of the video. All right, let's jump right in. Our first category is location. Location we rate four stars. We are located in the canyon side of the Park City Resort, which is the separate side of Park City. It's about a 10 to 20 minute drive, depending on the time of day that you go. You can also ski from canyons to Park City, but it's technically not in downtown Park City. We've stayed at a few resorts here on the canyon side, and in general, it's a really great side for skiing. You have full access to get to Park City. Most of the resorts do have shuttles that they offer to get over to Park City, which the Waldorf does offer as well. One thing to note about this hotel if you are looking to ski is that it is not ski in ski out it is fairly close to ski in but you do have to walk across the street and take a small gondola to get to the base of the canyon ski resort it adds about five minutes to your ski journey and is not something that's a deal breaker they do have a ski valet that is right here that takes your skis out and puts them by the gondola in the morning including warming your boots which is a fabulous perk so it really makes it pretty easy even though they're not right on the mountain i think they've taken full advantage of the ability to get you on the ski hill as quick as possible and I will say, personal preference, I prefer skiing on the canyon side of the resort. It just has amazing runs, and in the morning, it's much less crowded. Yeah, in general, we try to beat the crowds. So if you watch <laughs> some of our other reviews about Park City, you'll know that we're all about the canyon side. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, does that work when you're posting that on YouTube? <laughs> Keep it a secret. Shh. Our second category is lobby and check-in. Lobby and check-in, we rate four and a half stars. We arrived around noon the other day and we were checked in right away. The front desk staff was amazing. The bellmen were so fast and it really was just a really nice experience overall. Now, obviously, because we are staying here still during the pandemic, there are COVID-19 precautions that do make things a little bit different than how you would typically check in. So for instance, they have plexiglass at the front desk. They're giving you less resources than they might otherwise give. So there are a couple things that are different than how you would normally check in. However, they still did give us water bottles at check-in, which I thought was nice. And one thing that a lot of resorts have not done since COVID, which I think was done in a good way here, was they did have a folio that they had already pre-sanitized that had our name on it, that they pulled from a list of other guest folios. So it, again, it was not just specifically for us. It had all the details about the property and the precautions that they were taking during COVID-19 and all of the things that weren't going to quite be the same as you might expect them to be. I also find that in resort towns like Park City or any other ski resort, it's often hard to get information out of the front desk. It's usually pretty apathetic, but this was not the case here. We got a full rundown of the resort, everything we needed to know, and I thought that was a really nice Hilton touch. And honestly, the lobby is beautiful too. It just has this half spiral staircase that goes up one side. It's got this beautiful chandelier in the middle and you look straight through to this massive fireplace right at the end with these two big stags on either side, a bunch of beautiful leather furniture. It really ties together that classic Waldorf style with a little bit of a mountain touch. There's also 150 year old antiques in the lobby. It's really incredible. Be sure to check it out when you're here. Our third category is rooms. Rooms were at four and a half stars. Today we're in a one bedroom suite. It's a really cool configuration on this kind of circular corner. We absolutely love it. Yeah, we're in a really cool room type. We are in a room type that is somewhat unique though to the property. This room is one of a couple of these room types. However, there's a lot of interesting configurations here on property. Like a lot of hotels in the Park City area, they factored in that you're not always gonna wanna go out to eat, so you're gonna wanna dine in. So they've featured a kitchen in most of the rooms and a lot of the rooms can be booked as multifamily suites. So you have certain lock-offs that'll lock off to one bedrooms. So you can make something from a one bedroom suite into a two bedroom, and in some cases, even three and four bedrooms. So it's really nice the way that they've made that flexible because if you are coming as a larger family or even coming with a big friend group, it's really advantageous to be able to have this very convenient room setup where some of the parlors, like the room that we're in now, can go up to over over a thousand square feet. And so depending on what room type you get, that's a really cool feature. We also absolutely love the kitchen. It is a rare day to see a Viking kitchen in a hotel suite and it is really fun. We'll tell you more about cooking in here later. Viking appliances all around, the fridge, the stove, the washing machine. It's really cool. We also absolutely love the bed. The bed is super comfortable. It has the classic Waldorf insignia on the sheets. I mean, 
really nice. There's also dual fireplaces in this room, one in the bedroom and one in the living room. They're on a timer, and unlike other places where we've stayed that have had gas fire pits that don't always quite live up to the name, these ones, as you can see in the background here, really works. So it's fabulous. It gives that kind of mountainy touch and it really actually works to warm you up. These rooms were recently refreshed. However, some of the things that they're missing is just electronic light switches and blinds. There's just a lot of lights to turn off. One thing that we'd certainly like to see out of a future renovation would be a little bit more advanced technology around the way they do lighting. Because these are big rooms, as Marin mentioned, there's a lot of light switches. When you're fumbling around at night trying to find where all of the different light switches are to turn off all the lights in your room, it can be a little bit frustrating. The bathrooms here are also fabulous. The master bathroom features both a shower and a tub and there is a secondary bathroom that has a full shower. It's really well done and actually you can comfortably fit a family in this room as well. The couch is a sleeper sofa so if you're traveling with kids or as a friend group you do have the option to use the sleeper sofa right here in the living room and of course have that beautiful view of the fireplace. Our fourth category is service. Service we rate four and a half stars. Overall it has been really incredible. The front desk staff, the housekeeping staff, everyone is so kind, so helpful and they really do want to make your experience the best it can be. Yeah, everything from just when we first pulled up, the bell service was so on top of it. They came right to our door. They were right in the midst of, I think we caught them at a particularly busy time. And yet somehow they were on top of everyone. Even if they couldn't address you right away, they were specifically saying, hey, I'll be with you in one second. And you didn't get that feeling that you were being ignored, which oftentimes, as Marin mentioned, when you come to mountain resorts, it's very hard to find good service. There's a lot of turnover. And so oftentimes because they're dealing with a lack of training and somebody only being on the job for a short amount of time and maybe not having hospitality as their main focus, as in skiing is usually their main focus, <laughs> it's often really hard to find that good service. And so that was, that was really nice to see that just right from the get go. Of course, if there's one thing that I think they could have improved, it's that you smash that like button. Gotcha. See that? As we mentioned, the front desk was incredibly kind, really helpful. Every time I called down, I was addressed by name. It was no worries, Mrs. Zhang. Have a great day. Come down whenever you're ready. They just really want to make everything a good experience for you. Or for example, we were missing a baking sheet. We called down, immediately came up to the room. Another great part of the service here is, as we mentioned earlier, there is a ski valet. So we were able to leave our boots. They warm our boots at night. And then when you come down in the morning, your boots are ready. And early morning, they've already taken your skis over to the gondola so that they're waiting there. So all you have to do is put your boots on, walk across the street and head up on the mountain. During COVID, housekeeping is not done twice a day as it usually is here. There's always a turndown and a morning service. However, they do offer housekeeping on request. We did request housekeeping while we were here since we were filming a review and taking photos, but typically they will not come unless you specify that. And they do tell you that at the front desk. Overall, housekeeping did a really thorough job. We'll talk about our dining experience in just a moment, but the food and beverage service was also incredible. The staff are amazing. The food is delicious and it's just a really positive experience in Canyons Village to dine at Powder Restaurant. Even if you don't stay at the Waldorf, come to this restaurant. Yeah, honestly, it's probably worth the drive. Our fifth category is dining. Dining, we rate five stars. It has been an amazing dining experience from both the breakfast, which if you're Hilton Gold or Diamond, you get $30 off of your bill or for the dinner, which was just five stars all around. Truly incredible experiences, delicious food, and just wow, what, what a great time. Now it probably goes without saying, this is still a Waldorf Astoria. You are also in a mountain town and you're gonna be paying both Waldorf Astoria <laughs> prices and mountain town prices. It's just kind of the way it goes. And unfortunately, it is a little bit expensive. However, as Marin said, they really do have gourmet, locally sourced fine dining, and we had a fabulous experience. The chef is very enthusiastic and really enjoys being here, which again, sometimes in a mountain town, it's hard to find somebody that's passionate that you know is gonna be staying for a long time and be with this resort, but that the chef and this hotel have found a good match, and he's very passionate about what he's doing. I also love that they made a point to tell us that the bartenders and the staff at the restaurant do get to come up with the cocktails and have a little bit of fun with the menu, which was really cool. And one of the cool creations that came out of that kitchen is their chef's box, kind of like a blue apron. Guests can order a box, deliver it to their room, and cook in their gourmet kitchens, which we did last night, and that was just amazing. Chef Schaefer, thank you. I cannot believe that we managed to make a steak probably half as good as yours. Yeah, honestly, we we killed it. I don't yeah. know. We did, we did great. I <laughs> thought it was great. It was I really mean, good. I thought it was great. I think we could maybe be the new chefs. Yeah. If they're looking for a job. Could live in the suite too. I know I mentioned he was going to stay, but we could, we could, Interlude. For you ASMR people out there. Being able to cook right here in your room was actually a really cool experience. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, why would I want to cook in my own room if I'm on vacation? And for a lot of people, that's probably true. You don't want to have to go through the effort of having to cook. However, we do love cooking. And on top of that, 
it was very fun to just kind of have it laid out for you. These are the things you do. This is what we're gonna be cooking tonight. All of the ingredients were provided in small little mason jars and, and recyclable containers. It was just such a cool thing to be able to actually create a really great meal right in our place. And not to mention, we didn't have to do dishes afterward. That's really probably the best part. Yes, indeed. We also think it's a great thing to have during COVID because they are trying to keep the restaurant occupancy to a minimum. And of course, if you're trying to lessen your exposure, trying to have less opportunities to engage with other guests, it is a great way to just have some seclusion in your room. You have these fabulous kitchens, you have all this space. I really thought it was a fabulous way to do dinner. Overall, food and beverage could not be any better. The cocktails are great. The wine list is amazing. We literally cannot wait to come back. Our sixth category is facilities. Facilities were five stars. Again, not much is missing here. There's a full service, beautiful Waldorf Astoria spa. There's a shop. There's a pool area. They even have an adults only hot tub. They really have everything you need in a resort. As we mentioned earlier, there's also a ski valet. They also have a shuttle that takes you into Park City. And even when they weren't running that shuttle because of COVID precautions, the Waldorf was actually paying for people's Ubers to take them into town because they couldn't completely complete that part of the service, but they wanted to make sure that they were maintaining the level of facilities that they had and the service. And I think that that was a really great way to do that. Well, we did not get to try their spa this time. We certainly will next time. If you are a Hilton Honors member, you do get a discount on the spa services, which is a really nice touch. And in the summertime, there's also a golf course on the canyon side. So there's really a lot to do here, even if you're not a skier. Our seventh and final category is style. Style we rate four and a half stars. When you close the blinds, you feel like you were here in Park City in the mountains. It's really a high-end, beautiful style. They've done a great job of tying together that classic Waldorf style with that mountainy feel and really making this a lodgy, cool experience. Everything from leather sofas to nice big wood accents to the way they've done the flooring out on the pool. The style feels very consistent across the property. Everything does feel on the newer side. When they did do their recent renovation, they did not change a lot of the elements in the lobby on purpose because they they have so many beautiful antiques and imported goods. The fireplace is imported from Europe. It really is just a beautiful, luxurious place. And you do feel like you're at the Waldorf Astoria in Park City and not a Waldorf Astoria anywhere else. And you can tell they put a lot of time, effort, and money into the details at the resort, the Viking appliances aside, everything else feels very high-end. I think in general, there were a couple things that I feel like the style could have been upgraded just a little bit. There's some really beautiful paintings throughout this property and including in our room, we have this beautiful watercolor in one of the the bathrooms, but I think the art that's in the main part of the room doesn't quite tie together with some of that more mountainy art that you find in the bathrooms and in other places throughout the property. So I think if they could have tied that in a little bit, I think it would just kind of complete the look a bit and make it look maybe slightly less dated, which is an interesting comment that we found across TripAdvisor where people did suggest that the property did look slightly dated, even though they have recently had a renovation. And I think that that just comes from maybe not completely tying together that mountain style. Overall, we rate this property 4.6 stars. We have had an incredible stay here it 100% lived up to expectations and the hype of being a Waldorf Astoria and we cannot wait to come back in the summer to show you what the summer is like here. Before we wrap this video up as promised we have our COVID safety rating. Our COVID safety rating for the Waldorf Astoria in Park City is five stars. They've truly done an amazing job not only following the local laws in Utah around COVID but also implementing their own Hilton clean stay policies. If you've watched some of our other videos we've done a COVID safety rating for every stay that we've had since COVID-19 started and this is the only five Five star that we've given out. Now, the reason that we think that it's five stars is there's a couple key points that they hit here that a lot of hotels have missed. And I think the number one thing is that they've had a mask mandate from the get-go. It is required by law in Utah State, but Hilton is also requiring it on properties. And so it's something that Hilton's actually done globally, which I think a lot of the hotels that we've stayed at that did everything else right didn't require masks of guests. They only required masks of staff. And so I think that that's one of those points that they really hit on. They've also partnered with Lysol, so that alone is kind of cool. And they use Lysol products all over the property. They have the labels on the door and they do tell you all over the room exactly what's been cleaned extra well with Lysol. They've also provided surgical masks at various areas throughout the property, whether you're coming in the door, at the front desk, going into the restaurant, and of course, hand sanitizer throughout. We also watched as staff members cleaned doors over and over and over again, continuously sanitizing anything that people would have touched, including a door that was outside of the restaurant that we actually, during the course of a two hour meal, nobody went through and was sanitized three times. Overall, we think they've done an amazing job with COVID precautions. Of course, if you like this video and you found it useful, make sure to give us a thumbs up, 
It helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps us make more videos. And for more content from our stay here in Park City, be sure to check it out on our Instagram. And of course, we have full destination guides on our website at voyagerguru.com where we lay out everything about a location, all of the videos and blogs that we produced while we're there. And we continue to add content for those locations. So make sure to go check it out. There's updated content there every week. And as always, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're Voyager Guru. See you out there.